Hello, hello! Welcome back to Makeup with Morgan. Today, we're just playing around with some makeup, and I'm going to continue telling you guys about what happened to my senior friend group. So, as you may recall from last episode, I had stopped playing Dungeons and Dragons with this group, and so I wasn't as close to them as I used to be, and I stopped hanging out with them. In today's episode, we're going to talk about what happened between these characters and me. I say characters because I don't want to share their real names, so in this episode we will call them A, B, and C. So, when I was going about being ignored, I eventually did text A, and I said, hey, I've noticed that you guys aren't talking to me and I feel left out. And A told me that they were going through some pretty heavy seasonal depression and that they were sorry. And so we remedied and everything was okay between me and A. But B and C was, were still ignoring me. It's important to note that B and C would only ignore me when they were together. And yet when they were alone with me, they would treat me just like they used to. There was still that bit of bullying going on but for the most part they were really nice to me now i should say this is still going on so this isn't something that just has stopped it's still a little awkward so what happened between b and c is that i texted c and i said hey i don't feel comfortable texting b about this because i think she may be mad at me i didn't necessarily think the others were mad at me. I just thought they didn't like me. So I texted C. I said, I think B is mad at me and I want to let you know how I'm feeling. So I told her that. And a few days went by and then a month went by and then we got to Christmas. And at Christmas, I thought I'm going into a new year. I don't want to bring all of this drama with me. <laughs> Lucky how that turned out. And so I decided that I would delete the text and I would just say Merry Christmas. So I sent them all Merry Christmases and I deleted the text that I had sent to C. And C replied to me and basically they said, I'm sorry for the way I took advantage of your friendship and how I treated you and I will do better in the future. And I was like, I forgive you. We can be friends. And for a few days, you know, that, that happened. They treated me with respect. They texted me. But then when we went back to school and we were surrounded by AB again, C kept acting like she used to, which kind of bummed me out, but you know, I just kind of brushed it off. They would continue to make plans right in front of me and never invite me. They would talk about experiences they had where I wasn't there and then make a point to kind of insinuate that I wasn't there. And although that hurt, it wasn't the worst deal. I kind of moved on from it and I was just doing my own thing. Because I had my boyfriend, and, you know, I didn't feel like I needed their friendship. But I, I did kind of want their friendship. So, eventually I get asked to paint a mural. And I have painted murals before, so I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. It gets me volunteer hours. You know, it looks good on resumes. And it helps out somewhere in my community. So I go to the place where I am painting the mural and I begin sketching it. And when I had mentioned the mural, B had reached out to me and asked if they could help me paint it. And so I, I knew that B was a member of the place where I was painting this mural. They had like gone there before. So I was like, you know what, I'll ask. So I asked the person in charge. They said, oh, I, I, I know B. Sure, they can come. I don't mind. So B comes, they sign the paperwork, and they're able to start on the mural with me. And so as we are painting this mural, we've spent like hours on it. So a lot of time together, just us. Now remember, I had said that when they were together, they would ignore me. But when we were alone, they would talk to me. So B is talking to me, and they're telling me some of the stuff that's going on between B and C. And I mean, it's very basic high school drama as like it sucks, but it is as high school as it gets be like someone and see like someone and then the one person gets gets the relationship and the other one doesn't. And then all of a sudden it's relationship, relationship, relationship and no friendship anymore. 
And so I'm listening to them, and I said, oh, that explains a lot, because I thought you were mad at me, but you were just dealing with stuff. And B said, yes, I didn't mean to ignore you. And I said, okay. When we finished the mural, I noticed how close B and C were, despite the relationship drama they were going through. And I thought, oh, that, that's odd, you know. Like, you go through all of this, and yet you're still best buddies. But I didn't let it hurt me too much. So, as time goes on again, I am just kind of doing my own thing. I'm ignoring them. Things are still a little tense with C and their relationship because it takes a lot of time out of the friendship that they used to give. And so... Then, all of a sudden, A and B are arguing, and B was very secretive about it. B was like, oh, I'm not going to tell you. It's not your business. And I was like, I respect that. Okay. But I did want to check in with A because I learned from last time that sometimes things aren't as one-sided as they seem. So I checked in with A. I said, it's not my place, and it's not my business. But I wanted to ask if you're okay because B seems pretty mad at you. And A responded to me and they told me that there was an argument that had happened between A, B, and C. And A had called B out on some pretty harmful words that B had said. And B would not apologize for what they said and kept deflecting and making up excuses, which really hurt A's feelings. Now, A and I have a mutual friend, and this mutual friend told A, you shouldn't take that kind of actions from somebody else. You you need to shut them down, and if they won't listen, they're not a good friend to have in your life. And A said, you know what? You're absolutely right. And so they texted B and C and they said I don't want to be friends with you anymore and I was like oh that makes sense why things are so tense but because of what was said I mean it really irked me because I didn't take B and C as that kind of person but I knew I couldn't get their side of the story because of how defensive B was acting and I knew that C would take B's side so I gave up I thought you know what they're ignoring me. They don't want to be friends with me. They don't want to hang out with me. And if they're going to treat A like that, or at least how A told me that they were treated, if they're going to treat A like that, I don't want to be friends with them either. So I told my mom about like how sad I was. Because if you remember earlier, I said I didn't want their friendship but I felt like I needed their friendship. It's hard as a teenage girl and as a high schooler especially being surrounded by so many cliques and seeing all of the girls have their girlfriends that they just hang out with and they have sleepovers with and all this stuff. But I didn't have that. And I was mourning it, kind of. And my mom tried to be understanding, but she just didn't know what to tell me and my dad had even less of a clue so I just kind of had a bit of a mourning period where I was sad about not having these friends although A and I were still friends and A and I had kind of remedied the situation that we had had over the fall and winter and I had become closer to A and our mutual friend So I have those friends, but our mutual friend doesn't go to school with us, so we don't get to see them often. And A has a very different schedule for me, and we're both really busy at the end of our senior year, so we don't get to hang out much. So although I have some friends, it doesn't really feel like having friends sometimes. But I've learned over the course of my years in high school and the different friendships I've had that sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to have friends on the side that you don't spend all your time with 
It's okay to take time for yourself and to focus on the things that you need to focus on. Especially as a senior, at the end of my senior year, I have a lot of college stuff that I need to figure out. I have a lot of homework to do. I've got a lot of tests and finals coming up that I need to study for. I have a lot of invitations to send out for my graduation. And so it's hurtful sometimes to go through these things, but I feel like there can be good that comes from everything. And no matter how stupid, dramatic, and insufferable this situation was, I'm still glad I got to experience it. Because one day, you know, when I have a daughter, maybe I can help her. And hopefully I helped you too.